Fishing Freaks, welcome to a new year of outdoor greatness with me here on the Lake Fort Guy channel. If you haven't yet, subscribe and stick around as we explore fishing throughout the seasons from all over the country. And speaking of new, if you haven't seen the all new Slurping Spoons and Chad Wagons, they are available at GuggenSquad.com. Two key lures for winter fishing. GuggenSquad.com, that's linked down below, and you can use my promo code LFG at any time and save at checkout. In today's video, the family and I are headed to the Ozarks, where we typically make at least one family trip a year. But me and LFD have positioned ourselves for the trout dangle opportunity with a cabin right on the river so we can sneak out and fish between family engagements. I originally discovered this area from fishing bass tournaments on Table Rock Lake over a decade ago, but I quickly became a big fan of Table Rock for its abundance of all three major species of bass and the Big Cedar Lodge, where the bass and deer species are enshrined as national treasures and literally ingrained into log structures like St. Peter's Basilica. But it wasn't until last spring that I learned about the trout that were living in the tailwaters of Table Rock Lake, known as the Tanicomo River. The water near the dam on Table Rock Lake is very deep, so the water that comes out below the dam is cold and it is perfect for chunky rainbow trout. It even has a hatchery right on the riverbank, and even though it gets fished heavily, there are thousands of trout in the tailwaters due to the stocking program and strict fishing regulations for size and the types of lures that you can use. Sometimes half the battle with winter trout fishing is just staying warm enough to hold on to your fishing rod. But since trout thrive in the oxygen rich cold water, they stay just as active as a springtime bass. First attempt out here on the river. Just seeing tons of boats. Not seeing anybody in the water. The water is just surging right now. I'm just trying with a little spinning rod setup and a jerk bait. I'm sure it's gonna be an evolving experience, but this is what we're starting with. This is difficult fishing, I could already tell you. <laughs> my hands are freezing. I've got a little bit of ice on the end of my rod tip, but there wouldn't be seven or eight boats on this river right now if there wasn't some brown trout moving around in here and, and probably some rainbows too. But it is just ripping, absolutely ripping. So I'm having to cast way up and then I'm working my bait. By the time I engage my reel, my bait's already moved like 15 feet. I saw another boat drifting down this bank throwing jerk bait, so I thought, might as well start with that. That's something I can do from the bank. We'll give this about 10 minutes, see if anything latches on. If not, we're gonna have to change tactics. Tactic number two. I got a tangle, so I had to go back and redo some things. Put on a spoon. LFD is going to join me. 
trying to get down there deeper. I just don't think the jerk bait's going to get down to where these fish really are. But we're at high current right now. When this starts to die down, we're probably gonna switch to some fly tactics. But right now, we got a chance at a big brown, water's flowing. We're close to the cabin. It's easy to make these little switches. Just come back down here, give it a shot, and keep grinding. I've got like a 3 8 ounce, and I'm not even, not even down there. When, in the summer, they were just carpeting everywhere. Oh, there's fish. Oh, you hooked up? Yep. Dad's hooked up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Hooked up on the slurping spoon. Yeah. How you gonna land him? That's a good question. I, I might need to help you here. Yeah. Dad, that's awesome. It's a brown. Look at it. I think it's no, it might be a good rainbow. That's a nice rainbow. That's a good rainbow. Here, let's see if we can find a spot. What pound line you got on? Four pound test. Four pound test? Oh man, I don't want to get my hands wet. Here, I'll bring it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 almost, almost. That was a good spot. Uh, he's, he's doing the backwards on me. There we go. Look at that beautiful trout on the slurping spoon. Dad, that's awesome. That's a good rainbow. Beautiful fish. Look at him, he's starting to get teeth. Oh, just gorgeous. Oh God, he does have teeth. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. He's, he's, he's creaming oh, all over Oh yeah, you. he's all excited. <laughs> oh yeah. Dad, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Good job. I'm okay. You want me to release him? I'll throw him back. There you go. That's yeah. awesome. Hey, nice, man. Nice fish. On the slurping spoon. Yeah, I nailed it. We came over the rocks. So cool. Yeah, let's let him go. All right. Toss him back. Hey. Yes. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Check that out. Gave Dad some slurping spoons for Christmas. What was that? No, oh, that's a half ounce. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Getting down there a little bit with that one. Yeah, on four pound test, I wasn't sure it was going to get him in. <sighs> nice. Yeah, we really need our net. We're just experimenting and everything. But hey, that's killer. That's awesome. Sign of life. You hooked up? Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Next cast. Oh my gosh. Come to Pop Pop. There he is. Dad's hooked up again. Holy cow. Slurping spoon's killing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this little googan rod. Let me try to get let me try to get in the same spot. Oh, that's a pretty one too. There we go, there we go. I'm trying not to fall in. Ah, oh, it's a fat one. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. These are awesome trout, Dad. Yeah, they call this trophy, trophy place, right? Wow. Oh yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to tag team him. Seems like with trout, you gotta get the tail. That Just the head thing doesn't work the best. Yeah. His teeth are a lot smaller. That's good. Got no pliers, got no net. Yeah, I'm just out here rednecking it. Unprepared. Oh, it's fat, fish. fat trout. They got to be over 20, I think, to keep, which that's probably like an 18. Yeah. 17, 18. That's awesome. Nicely done, <sighs> LFD. Okay. Not the most graceful, but he's kicking. It works. That was back to back casts. <sighs> I'm gonna leave the camera on you. You're, stay hot. Ooh. Stay hot. There we go. I think that that half. Yeah, remember that spot because it's probably a little break or something right there. Nope, on the bottom. Okay, that's good though. 
birds of the fish. fish. You got another one? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dad's got another one. <laughs> Dad's hooked up. Dad's hooked up three three casts in a row. Three casts in a row <laughs> catching jumbos. <laughs> That's a brown. Yeah, it is. That's a brown. That's a small brown. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Slurping spoon absolutely crushing it. I don't know if it's the color or just I think you're you're just in the zone, man. Just the presentation. There, there we go. go. Spoon out. Yes. Beautiful brown trout. Let's go. Go okay. Go see Papa. <laughs> go tell him we're coming. There we go. We Keep slurping. The... Keep slurping, guys. Half ounce spoon. If I was trapped on an island somewhere, that's what I'd take with me. Certainly. Catch his fish. Sure does. All kinds. Every species, every depth. All right, I'm gonna attempt to catch one or just hold the camera for dad. Yes, he is on fire. Round one, day one. We have come back to the cabin. It's time to regroup. And this is the transition time in this water right now where it's receding and it should go down, believe it or not, about six feet. So that's gonna be a, uh, a huge difference. As far as the trout go, uh, keeping those lures close to the bottom, the spoon was key. And my dad just got on an absolute hot streak. I think he hit a group of fish that was kind of moving down uh, the river, got on a little high spot and was just feeding and it was just boom, boom, boom. Well, you really had to throw it up current and it was, uh, getting towards the bottom, almost kind of hitting the bottom, getting snagged, but that that layer where you're not getting snagged and where the fish are sitting close to the bottom waiting for something, that was the key. I just got a lot of snags. My dad ended up breaking off eventually. So I always have some spoons in my uh, trout panfish tackle box here, but I just have a lot of small ones. I didn't think to bring any big heavy ones, like some half ounce and three quarters when that current's really running. Now that the water is, is going down, we're gonna try something different. We're gonna get the waders on, we're gonna get the long poles, and we're gonna try doing a little uh, drifting with some indicators. We can just make a lot of little short, precise casts in these little riffles and current changes. I think that'll do something. Got one. First cast. First cast with the fly. There we go, guys. That was on a scud. Wow. Look at me go. Oh, that is pretty. That is pretty. That's a nice one. Woo! Man, that drag is smooth on that reel. That's a sage. That's nice. Hey. First cast, Dad. He was he was close. He was close. I got one. I didn't even have to get wet. All right, we just got to find a good little landing zone without falling in.
Come here, buddy. He's to the tippet. Just got to get him to come up current with me. Oh, here he goes. That was sweet. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that one. <laughs> look at the size of that. I think that one's 20 inches. He's he's folded up in the net. Guys, that is that is no kidding, one of my biggest rainbow trout of my life. Holy cow, first cast too. That is awesome. Woo son. Made putting on all the fly gear, setting up worth it. Get him unpegged. Pop goes the fly, no barb. No barb, look at this trout. Oh, let's see if I can get him out and show you guys. That is just an amazing amazing fish right there look at that that is so cool all right we'll let this guy go heck yeah smash the like button that was cool if i don't catch another fish today i don't even care that was awesome that right there that little scud that's what did it I think the first time I went trout fishing, I broke every single fish off because I was just used to setting the hook like a jig hook set for a bass. And I quickly learned how challenging it is. But over the years of fishing all over the place, I've learned to appreciate all species and the difficulties in catching each type of fish. But there's this thing about fly fishing in a river or a stream. It, it is different. I've watched people go out and fly fish for hours and not catch a thing and completely enjoy themselves. Why is that different from other species fishing? I think it has to do with the river. There's some sort of mojo going on with the flow and the sound and just watching and listening to that water go by. It soothes the soul. And every once in a while when your lure is presented just right in front of a trout and they latch on, that's just icing on the cake. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, goodness. He's coming right at me. There it goes. God, he came right at me jumping. Not much fight to this guy. Trout number two. Not very big. Fly just flew out. He's probably just a hair over 12, if I had to guess. Nice fish. Return you to the waters, buddy. Rainbow. The rainbow. Having to adjust, the water's gone down even farther. And I just lengthened up my leader to about, I'm going to say, three feet three feet and I added a little split shot. Just a tiny little split shot right there. 
now I can kind of read this current a little bit better. He just popped it. It's really hard to tell when you're just hitting a rock sometimes or you're getting a bite. But when they really want to take it, it, it just goes under. That's the ones I need. Easy to tell. There he is. Got him. Got him. Ah, right on that point. Yes, sir. Oh, ho, 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 baby. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice one. Well, he's not as big as I thought, but he's nice. I'll take him. Little fly switch, little spot switch. God, that's pretty. That's what it's all about right there, y'all. Come here. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful trout. Perfectly hooked on the top of the snout. Get you unhooked here, buddy. No barb, just pops right out. Look at this, y'all. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous trout. Let's let him go right here in the shallow water. Watch him swim off. There you go, bud. Oh, there we go. Oh, I watched him hit it. Watched him kind of tap it. And he came back. Oh, that one feels like it's got some girth. Is this a rainbow? That is awesome. That yeah, is. It's a good rainbow. It's better. Better than the last one. Oh, man. oh my gosh, this is amazing. Come here, my dude. Come here, my dude. Yes. Just a chunk. A little short chunk. That was an awesome hit. I kind of saw my my indicator go down for just a second, just a millisecond. And it's almost like he hit it again. Ah, oh, sometimes I don't know how they don't come unhooked. That little barbless. 
That's a nice fish. That's a really nice fish right there, guys. Let this beautiful trout go right below my feet. Look at that. <laughs> Well, if you thought bass fishing lures were complicated, wait till you go down the rabbit hole of trout flies. Now, all the flies that I'm using here are called nymphs, and these are different from dry flies because they sink. And some of the small bugs that they like to eat in this river are called scuds and midges. And they're little larvae that live up under the rocks. I'm using a couple of different kinds of scuds and then a quick sinking nymph called a pertagon and I like this one because it gets down there in the water pretty quick and I don't have to add much weight to it. And the whole goal with these is to get the right drift speed and get it just off the bottom where it's just barely ticking the rocks and goes right in front of the fish's face. For my line, I'm using a nine foot five weight tippet and I'll occasionally add some four and a half pound fluorocarbon to that. There's a lot of different styles and brands of indicators out there. But these are just a couple that I like to use that I found don't slip off your line. New day and a new river. It is frosty this morning, guys. It's in the 20s. And last night, you know, I had some success in, in the afternoon with the fly. It was, I felt really good. And then it just kind of got flat and there where there was no recurrent. And then I heard the siren go off. And the siren means they're about to open the gates again. And it was just wild to see how fast this river fills up and just changes. The fishery just changes. It changes by the hour. And that's what makes this a, uh, a, a challenge. Fly fishing, trout fishing, it's different and it's challenging for me. And I, and I like that. I like to try to figure that out. But the whole river changing with the different currents um, by the hour basically is, is, that makes it an extra challenge as well. So every trout that, that we're catching is rewarding. Ah, uh, here we go. Walking through the woods, into the water. There's something just beautiful about that. About trout fishing. Walking through the woods, get to the water. Little birds chirping, flying. Vibes are good. Love it, man. Surface water. I'll try moving upstream. In this little shallow area. I, I like this overcast. I think it's good for a big one. Be just hanging in the shallows. Oh God, that one got pumped. That one, that was a bite. Oh, that's a rock. There we go. There he is. 
Oh yeah, good one. Right there in that current, man. There you go, baby. Nice. That's a good trout. Good trout right here, guys. God, that was sweet. Just kind of mending my line, getting the right, the right drift speed. Look at that, just digging. Just digging. Fight these things for too long, they come off. Oh, there's another one just fed in front of me. Got a group coming in. All right, we'll go ahead and get to our tippet. We'll net this guy. Nice trout. Very nice trout. There we go. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. That right there just shivers my timbers. Got him on that big paragon. Big boy right there. Kind of a pink head. Just wanted something that would sink pretty fast. Nice fish. First fish of the day, LFD just in time, just in time to join me. Why? Hey, they were pretty close. A couple feet of water. Dad had to go shopping this morning with the, with the lady. Gotta do what you gotta, gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. I got lucky. Seth's taking the kids. So the wives are off shopping right now. Me and Dad, we got an opportunity. So we're gonna take it. That was a nice one. That was probably a 16 incher. I'm looking for that 20 incher. Hooked up shallow water, guys. Shallow. I'm talking maybe a foot deep. Ah, yeah. Not a giant, but I'll take it. First fish in a new spot, had to totally change my tactics there. Show you guys what we're working with. River's always changing. Look at that little fly. Little nymph. Decent trout, I'll put him back. There he goes. Look at my net, look how deep it is. So I just had to switch, switch up, went to a tiny fly. I noticed some fish up here in the shallows swimming off. So I came up here a little bit and that is about an 18 inch leader. So cut it down to about half. Oh, another one just moved out right there. Right there guys, so shallow. Almost feel like I have to whisper. Of your friends. Oh, we got a brown, maybe. Nope, it's just a little rainbow. Shh. 
shallow water. See it, buddy. I mean, they just blend right in. It's crazy. Hooked up. It's twice it's happened where I've thrown out there, I've missed it, throw back and I catch them. Ooh, a little better fish right here. Oh yeah, baby. Stream is calm. Looking beautiful. Oh, there he goes, right at the end. Just popped out. Quick release. There we go. Oh, yeah. Rip them, baby. Ripping them. Come here to pop. About the same size. Oh my gosh, this is just so much fun on a fly rod, y'all. Beautiful trout. Oh, come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. Hook just popped out. Just popped out. Look at that gorgeous rainbow, man. There you go. You're back in the water, buddy. Okay, I think that is four for the day. So we're already better than yesterday. I'm just looking for hog jammer. It's so hard to get a bite. I'm, I'm getting bites, so I don't want to switch, but I don't know if I need to do something else for a big one. These fish may be able to see this indicator. There's one. Just slamming the little guys here. I'd say if we're getting bites, we might as well just keep dangling. This guy's pretty small though. He would make good table fare. Gorgeous dark trout. Extremely well. God, he bit my hook out. Just that little fish bit my hook out. Ah, crushing five trout on the river. I think this calls for a little something special. If you guys haven't heard of old elk, now yeah. Oh, hang on. Dad's hooked up. Perfect moment. Did you have him? Big. You had a big one? Yeah. You lost him. I don't know if he was that big, he was 18, 19. Well, Dad, I was gonna I was I was getting this out because you were you were about to catch your first fish. Yeah. The, the old elk infinity blend, just a little warm up. My my fingers are frozen. And uh, I was gonna celebrate because I've caught five so far, and I thought we could, you know, get a little double, but you know, the rule is you can't can't have a sip until you get one. Until <laughs> you touch one. So I think I need one. <laughs> not, until, not until you get one. I'll give you another fly. Don't worry. We'll get a little, little sampling here of the sacrament. See what we got. A little river sip here.
I'd oh. like a fly, please. Oh, God, that's good. That's actually fantastic. So oh, it is? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll catch a fish and I'll get some, too. Yeah, when you get one, you can have a sip of this right here. You got to be a, a full-grown adult and land a fish. That's the rules. Oh, man. Two big ones in the shallows. Man, there's some... There's some hog jammers floating around here. Some of them are just around our feet, which is crazy. <clears throat> All right, we're about to see how smart these trout are. Switching up to a mega worm. Bright orange Cheeto, basically. Let's see how sophisticated they really are. Under your feet? Wow. Dad says he's got trout under his feet right now. I haven't even really looked. Got it on the mega worm. There we go, baby. Come here. There we go. That's Texas style right there. Don't want a big worm on them. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to be a big one, though. Supposed to be a big gnarly one. Look at that big orange thing in its face. Oh man, you're an eater. Just one of them little eaters. There goes the mega. See you, my dude. Thank you. I threw in that spot probably 70 times with the other fly that just needed a little something different. Had another bite. Oh my gosh, he took my he took my worm. He broke me off. I just saw him jump. God, it's the only orange mega worm that I had. Just got broke off. Yeah. I just broke off. I don't know how big it was, but as soon as I got a bit, just broke my line. You know, four pound test, should have retied. And that was my only orange mega worm. My buddy Lance gave it to me. It had a tungsten head, orange head, or it's a piece of yarn. It's a piece of yarn, that's what it is. And you would think, throwing all this tiny stuff, that uh, that would not be the deal, but I think it's just something different anyway let's throw in that spot a hundred times i've caught so many trout on these right here just fishing back home around some of the rivers around me but the problem is they they just bite the end of that thing you know there's a lot of body and not much hook with those other tiny ones as soon as they eat it you got them hooked up on a mega mega worm not a mega fish there was a guy that just rode a boat through here and kicked up a bunch of scuds, and I think that helped. It's a pretty decent one right here. Do not like my hook. <clears throat> I can definitely see the worm, so it's not much of it in its mouth. Come on, baby. Come on. Come to Papa. I'm 
hooked up. Come here, you big cold fish. Oh, he's got some anger. healthy that one is. Wow. Definitely one of the better ones of the day. Let's get a little better look at you. There you are. Nice male right there. I'll let him go. See you my guy. Left us a little treat right there. A little good luck treat. Not as big. guy nice LFD finally hooked up finally I may need to borrow this I got you just let him swim downstream to me we'll take care of it Come off. I lost my fish. I think you hit him with the net. I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. You hit him with the net. Oh my God. <sighs> Worked so hard. All day long. All day long. Two bites and both of them missed them. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are just fish swimming all around my feet. Like I could literally just stick this net down here and catch like this 18 incher. Like there he is. <laughs> it's crazy, but to get one on a rod reel is, is tough. They're so educated. And with one more in the net and one more that got away, that is how we end our fishing adventure in the Ozarks. As I watched the Tanny Como rise and fall for one more day, I just took a break from the dangle and I sipped my coffee and watched the other anglers enjoy the river. I'm blessed to have a family that loves the outdoors like I do. I'm lucky to still be fishing with a guy that got me into fishing in the first place and I couldn't help but look on at my son and think about all three of us fishing on that river one day. And no, I didn't catch that monster brown or rainbow, but that's what keeps me coming back and I learned something every time I'm going out fishing. And hopefully you did too. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you back in the great outdoors for another adventure.